Hi guys, my name is Trevor Sullivan. In this video, I wanted to show you a new feature in the Amazon Simple Notification service that allows you to filter out messages to certain subscribers to your Amazon SNS topics. This means that you can have multiple subscribers to an SNS topic, but you can perform filtration inside of the SNS service so that the applications only respond to the messages that are directed to them. Let's explore an example of how this works. The first thing I'll do is create a new SNS topic. I'll use a topic name of my orders, and then because I'm going to subscribe a phone number or SMS message to this topic, I'll go ahead and enter a topic display name of my orders as well. Once you've created the new SNS topic, you'll want to subscribe a phone number or some type of endpoint to the topic. So I'll go ahead and just choose the SMS protocol here, and then I'll type my phone number. If you're using a US-based phone number, make sure that you use a one prefix, otherwise your phone might not receive the message. Now that we've created the SNS topic, the next thing we need to do is go under subscriptions, choose our subscription, and then we'll go ahead and edit the subscription filter policy. The sample JSON here is the exact syntax we're going to follow, and I'll go ahead and specify a field of order type, and then you need to specify an array of JSON values for this particular subscriber that will be validated prior to actually forwarding the message to that subscription. So I'll go ahead and say this subscriber only supports retail type of orders, so any non-retail orders will be rejected by this subscription filter. Let's go back to our topic and go ahead and try to publish a new message. So I'll put a subject line of first order and say, this is my first retail order. You need to make sure that you set the message attribute appropriately anytime that you publish a new message to the topic, otherwise they won't be filtered out using the filter policy you specified. So in this case, I'm going to choose message type of, or message attribute of order type, and then I'll go ahead and set it to retail. You also need to make sure that you specify the attribute type. In this case, we'll use string. So I've published a new message, and I'm just going to go over and check my phone to make sure that I've received the message. Sure enough, the message has come in successfully. Let's go ahead and try to send a second message using the same attribute, but a different value. I'll set the subject to second order, and in the message I'll say this is a non-retail order. I'll come back under the message attributes and set the order type to string, and then we'll just use something like non-retail that doesn't match the retail string that we're expecting. If I publish this message, you'll see that on my phone, it doesn't end up coming through. This is because the message was filtered out using the new filter subscription policy. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful, and feel free to leave a comment and a thumbs up. Let me know what types of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks.